This is part three of my reading a very, very, very important article. Former Air Force officer warns of atmospheric spraying and the coming collapse. If you have missed part one and part two, go to my channel and you can listen to the first parts of this article. And I pick up for part three right here. If you are deluding yourself that writing letters to these elected representatives will in any way make a difference, please stop and apply your thinking, actions, and words in more productive approaches. As a colleague once expressed it, we are playing baseball. They are playing football. The effect then is that there is, in reality, no longer a Republican or Democratic party. There is one party and it is not accountable to the people. It operates entirely in concert with the stated goals of United Nations Agenda 21 or 2125, 2130, or is it 2025 or 20, uh, 2030. And the Illuminati's fundamental tenets, which include a one world government and religion called the New World Order, also includes massive depopulation. Their fundamental commandments are inscribed on the vertical stone tablets placed in Georgia, the Georgia Guidestones. Their goal calls for a world, world population that does not exceed 500 million people. In order to achieve that goal, a reduction will be required in the current world population on the order of six billion human beings. The beginning point for this process of depopulation is the United States, followed quickly by Canada and Mexico to create the New World Order's North American Command Center. Remember, this is an Air Force colonel writing this. Hence, the observations of foreign military personnel at or near several of our military bases. Those foreign troops are not limited to Russian soldiers. They include United Nations peacekeeping troops from several nations as well as military mercenaries. For example, the Blackwater Group, whom the CIA has used for years. These foreign soldiers have been training beside American military personnel in such areas as riot control, inmate management, and forcibly disarming Americans of weapons. They are here because, to Obama's chagrin, about 60% of American military personnel have indicated that they would honor their oaths and not fire on American citizens if ordered to do so. Hence, the forced retirement of the largest number of senior military officers in our nation's history. It is referred to as Obama's litmus test. For them, that would constitute and is an unlawful order according to the Uniform Code of Military Justice, which if martial law is declared, will be modified, set aside, or superseded as will the Constitution. At the same time, Obama is expected to deploy more American troops to foreign countries, for example, Iraq, which he has been doing. Meanwhile, these other non-American troops will be used to arrest and transport Americans to pre-designated FEMA resettlement or relocation or internment camps. And depending on the American citizen's status as determined by Department of Homeland Security, incarcerated or executed. It is important to note that each of these FEMA camps is currently fully staffed and ready for operation despite the absence of detainees. You are probably aware of the hundreds of thousands of casket liners stored at various locations around the country, most but not all at military installations. Numbers reported vary from 500,000 to a million or more. 
A major concern is that Obama, prior to the November elections, will declare a state of martial law on some fabricated pretext or false flag terrorist event unless he can incite enough Americans to clash over racial, religious, or other differences. The race war, it's deliberate, don't be manipulated by it. Operation Jade Helm 15, which ran from July 15, 2015 through September 15, 2015, was not, as we were told, a military exercise. It provided an opportunity to redistribute military ve vehicles and ordnance across the country, as well as to equip law enforcement agencies with excess military gear, weapons, ammunition, protective vests, armored personnel carriers, and in some cases, and in some cases, tanks. And again, I now have gotten my warnings. All of my programs are not working properly, so I really do appreciate this, and I will post this video in full on my backup channel, Never Lose Truth. But I'm going to have to make another video to complete this. But yes, countries as well, as to equip law enforcement agencies with excess military gear, weapons, ammunition, protective vests, armored personnel carriers, and in some cases, tanks. Perhaps you have seen one of the two to three mile long freight trains consisting solely of 80 foot 